Deaconess Janet Fadike Okunfolami celebrated her 70th birthday anniversary in style at the Foursquare Gospel Church Festac on Sunday, the 23rd of June, 2019. Family members, friends, and well-wishers joined Deaconess Janet Fadike Okunfolami and her husband, Deacon Martin Okunfolami, in thanking God for His grace and mercy over the years. Celebrating 70 years of God's faithfulness, the celebrant, Deaconess Janet Fadike Okunfolami, with joy in her heart, danced to the front of the church alongside her husband of over four decades. Janet Fadike Okunfolami shared her testimony, talking about how God has been faithful to her and her family, especially with seven wonderful children and a most caring husband. The session ended with several prayer sessions, as Reverend Francis Bolai Bikui and Reverend Brig James took turns to pray for the celebrant and her family, as Reverend Yitzide Shudipo of the Fourth Square Gospel Church, E4 District, conducted the closing prayer. Just after the church service, there was a reception party at the multi-purpose hall of Tasty Fried Chicken, Festac Town, Lagos, where guests were hosted. The very excited celebrant, Deaconess Janet Fadike Okunfolami, alongside her husband, Deacon Martin Okunfolami, were joined by their children, family members, and well-wishers as they all danced graciously. <laughs> The Bible reading was taken by the daughter of the celebrant, Dr. Lubumi Uboma. The spice of the occasion, the celebrant, Deaconess Janet Fadike Okunfolami and her husband, were asked to hit the dance floor as guests fed their eyes. <laughs> In the welcome remarks of the chairman of the occasion, Jeff Benson Adiemi, he started by glorifying the name of God for the celebrant, after which he thanked all for coming to share the special day with the Okunfolamis. He enjoined everyone to have fun and enjoy the special day. This is the kind of people which we were I was, I was in, on those things that Reverend Daddy called me and I should call. I said, we have to be there. This is the people who left Akura this morning and we were here. We, because these people are, you know, they are a couple that you cannot do with us. Mama has always been, anytime we, we meet her, we we'll get something. Look at today, for example. She mixes, you will think she is, like everybody said, in her 50s. And yet, yes, she is talking seven. Mama, we respect you. We really respect you. Daddy, thank you for taking care of Mama. You know, you are one of those that we look up to. So for today, everybody here, please, you are here and you are going to go back well blessed in the name of Jesus. 
you will never lack, you will not beg for bread. Anything each of you, any one of you, each of you touches will be blessed. God will make a way for all of you. I thank God and I thank you for this. Seventy to be seventy is not easy. It's not easy to be seventy. And then when you make it and you are as young as this, to God be on the glory. Thank you very much. In the sermon, Reverend Badijo said, the best thing that can happen to anyone is accepting Jesus Christ and becoming a Christian as every other good thing follows afterwards. He used the medium to implore all to give their lives to Christ so as to enjoy longevity. Reverend Badijo ended by calling on all the pastors present to pray for the celebrant and members of her family. God has done so much for you. And especially for our dear mother this hour. I was trying to use my calculator to compute how many hours, how many minutes, how many weeks that she has spent on this side of eternity. Time will not permit me, my computer space couldn't contain it. But this woman is, has spent billions of seconds on this side of eternity. She's a billionaire by reason of the number of years. And we don't want to ask you when she stored all the billionaires, if it will be translated into Naira, it will be going to be trillionaires. But so let it be. Number one, the guy whom I'm spending here said, Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. He who forgiveth all my iniquities. Morning, congratulations that you are born again. The starting point of the glory of God in your life is that you are born again. God has been good to you. Our earth could have been forgotten like a dream. Today it will never have been possible. But the joy of the Lord of your sweet salvation is keeping you going. Afterwards, there was a short video presentation by the children and grandchildren of the celebrant to celebrate their mother and grandmother at 70. In the tribute session, friends of the Okunfolamis took turns to speak highly of the celebrant, the Kines Janet Fadike Okunfolami, after which the kick cutting exercise was supervised by the master of ceremony, MCM Black Comedian, after spelling the word love. Thank you, sir. Yes, let's all do this together, please. Let's all do this together. Daddy, please support for me. We want to spell love. Are we ready? I can't hear you. Are we ready? Yes, we want to spell love. At the count of three, let's go. One, two, three, go. Letter L, O, I can't hear you. O, V, E, and Love! A round of applause for the couple, please. You are not clapping. Having cut the cake, the celebrant and her husband fed each other romantically and sealed it up with a kiss. In the remarks of the celebrant, Dickiness Janet Fadike Okufalami thanked everyone for the love shown to her and the entire Okufalami family on the special occasion of her 70th birthday. She also showered her husband, Dickin Martin Sukufalami, with lots of praises and appreciated her children, who she said made motherhood easy and interesting.
The 70th birthday celebration of Dickiness Janet Fadike Okunfolami ended with the closing prayer said by Mrs. Bukola Omoribe as the pleasant sound band led by Laulu Benjo played good music while guests had fun on the dance floor. From Biscon Communications, it's 70 hearty cheers to your Janet Fadike Okunfolami.